Okay, um, I'm going to show you how to paint a car quickly um, so that you can paint lots of cars um, in a short space of time um, with a view to gaining legendary status. So the first thing you need to do is get into designs and paints um, and select a car. I'm going to use the Abarth 124 Spider for this demo. I was already in it, but... And then the first step is really optional uh, to paint the car, but let's do that anyway. And let's just give it an overall um, white paint. So everything's the same color. We'll come back to this uh, part in a little while. Okay, so we'll save that to the current car. We've got rid of the black bonnet um, and the red wing mirrors, all that kind of stuff. Actually saving these things is pretty well the longest part of this. Okay, then we go up to apply vinyls and decals. And this is a fairly important step for speed. You immediately switch to the left side view and then you will have, you do need to have uh, previously prepared an appropriate vinyl and we're going to use a rainbow vinyl and load that vinyl group and you can see that's applied it to the side of the car. Uh, it offers you the option to move, resize, spin it etc but if you've got the vinyl right you don't need to do that just uh, press A or whatever um, if you're using a PC to save it. The next step is copy that to the other side or mirror to the other side and although we wouldn't do this when we were actually painting, we'll just flip over to the right hand side to see that it's now on that side as well. Okay, the next thing, uh, and I found it best um, to select the thing first, and on the Xbox we do that with the right trigger, gets a little red band in it, and then press X to delete it, Y to paste it back, then switch to the bonnet view, and Y to copy it uh, onto the bonnet. So now we've got our car almost finished. If we just flip to the front bumper you can see that most of the car is done, just the front and rear bumpers to do and if we so desire also the wing mirrors. So I typically start on the rear bumper and apply a vinyl shape. Doesn't really matter what you choose, I always use the square and then choose the colour that matches, um, that will match the uh, the joining point of the back of the car. And it's a little while since I've done this, but I'm pretty sure it's that one. And then resize it to cover the whole boot. Should do it. Uh, and then, <laughs> this is the odd step, X to cut it, Y to put, paste it back, flip to the front bumper, Y to paste it and then select it, change colour and um, pick the colour that you need which happens to be this one. So that bright red. And that's that's it done. Now I've been talking about what I'm doing, I've been uh, moving around and demonstrating things but in practice this doesn't take more than a minute or two at most. Um, in fact, the painting part you can probably do in 30 seconds. Most of the time that you will spend painting cars using a method like this will be waiting for it to save. It's, uh, that's the painful part of it. Okay, we will sort those wing mirrors out because I don't like them that colour. Um, and so we'll just go and paint the wing mirrors. We could either just have them black and then they fade into the background or maybe a, a neutral grey. Um, but for this particular paint I'd like to make them kind of blend in a bit. So let's see if we can almost match that colour there. I mean this really is an optional step. It doesn't matter. It's the overall if, impact of the, uh, of the skin that you're looking for. And minutiae like... Uh, wing mirrors aren't that important. Um, but there we pretty well have a finished car. I mean, whether or not 
if you want to make it you know better then you might perhaps use a more blue color on those wing mirrors but yeah but the objective of this is just to paint quickly obviously you need to have prepared the vinyl in advance um, we'll have a look at the vinyl just briefly so if we go to my vinyl groups and we'll load this we'll just have a look at how it's made uh, as you can see it's pretty big and it's got a big block of red and a big block of um, I'm going to call it violet it's not really violet at either end as well as the blurred um, rainbow that the blur is just the effect that I wanted really um, but all it's made of if we ungroup that is two rectangles and then on top of that um, we have just a lot of um, those toenail shaped things um, placed alongside each other um, one overlapping the other on the blurred side uh, these are the um, oh, I can't remember what it calls them let's see uh, the gradient shapes and uh, for this uh, vinyl I actually used this one and then just painted it in different colours. I'm not going to make any changes to this vinyl, that's just so you can see how the vinyl is made up. And it really is as simple as that. Thanks for watching, I hope it's useful.